Hi, I'm Maria Palazzola with MyGolfInstructor.com and today I have a question submitted by Terrence from Washington and his question is, what is your rule of thumb on the difference in distance if I choke down one or two inches on a three-quarter length swing? So to answer your question today, Terrence, I'm here with PGA head professional at Four Hills Country Club, Gideon Traub. Gideon, thanks for being here. You bet. Thanks for having me. And so how would you answer Terrence's question? Um, it's kind of got two elements to it because he's saying he's already making a three-quarter swing. Right. And then what happens if he chokes down an extra inch or two from that? Right. Yeah. Um, you know, we are making that, we're already making that three-quarter swing, so it's, we're going to lose some yardage based on that. Um, and then when we're choking down, you know, it's definitely going to depend on the person. I think you need to go out and practice this yourself. But rule of thumb is, you know, for every inch, maybe five to ten percent of what your actual swing is going to be, or what your actual distance is normal for that shot. So, if 80 yards full swing sand wedge, when you take three quarters of a swing, you're probably going to be, you know, another ten percent less, and then you're going to take another inch down, so you're maybe another five percent less. So, you know, overall, in an 80 yard shot, when we're choking down an inch or two three-quarter swing, we're probably going to take 15 to 20 yards off of that shot. All right, thanks, Gideon. Great advice, and I think that's a pretty good formula for most players to go by. But just like you said, you've really got to get out there and experiment and practice yourself because we don't know really how hard you're going to go at it. So you've got to control your speed and your rate of rotation as well. I want to thank Gideon Traub, PGA professional at Forest Hills Country Club, for being with us here today to answer some of these questions. And remember, if you have a question, please submit it in the Ask Maria section on mygolfinstructor.com.